how you're passing and moving in the middle third and then really attacking in the final third? Has that been an area of concentration for you? Gonzalo ha dicho que, que le gusta la, la forma de, de cómo estás moviendo dentro de la cancha y cómo está funcionando el ataque, si eso ha sido un, un punto de enfoque. Sí, bueno, la verdad me siento muy bien, me estoy asociando con mis compañeros, creo que es el quinto o sexto partido que jugamos eh, Tiago, Luis y, y yo juntos. Estamos trabajando muy bien y nos estamos preparando para el próximo partido. Yeah, I'm, uh, I think I'm working really well and, and combining well with my teammates. I think this is the fifth or sixth game that we've we've now played together with Thiago and, and Luis in, in our group. Um, so we're, we're working hard at that. How has that consistency in the lineup with your teammates helped you uh, increase your production even more? ¿Cómo eso, cómo te ha ayudado a ti tener los mismos compañeros uh, en la cancha? Mucho porque así nos vamos, vamos conociendo, vamos teniendo mayor química y tenemos más, mayor minuto de juego juntos. It helps us a lot because we're we're on the field together, we're getting more minutes playing together and, and we can have a, a better understanding. So the, the minutes help a lot. Marce, el año pasado me acuerdo que tenía mucha ilusión de, con el cuerpo técnico anterior. Había dicho que querías añadir más gol a tu, a tu juego. Lo hiciste el año pasado, claramente. Este año, ¿cuál fue el objetivo personal? ¿Y cómo describirías el momento de este equipo ahora? How he said last year that he wanted to add goals to his game and, and how he did that. So what was his goal coming into this season? Bueno, este año creo que eh, mi rol es más eh, asistir a mis compañeros más que, que atacar. Eh, en cuanto al equipo, creo que estamos muy bien. Eh, no se nos han dado varios resultados, pero el equipo está muy bien, está jugando muy bien, crea muchas situaciones y esperemos que nos salga adelante. I think uh, this year my role is, is to, uh, you know, be more of a passer, provide more assists instead of scoring goals. Um, and speaking of the team, I think I think we're playing well. We've had some results that uh, haven't gone our way, but we're still working hard, and, and I think we're we're doing well. ¿Y cómo te sentís en ese en ese papel? Porque se te ha visto que la visión la tenés, la química como lo mencionas va creciendo cada partido. Es un papel que, que te gusta sabiendo que siempre puedes atacar, obviamente. And how he feels with that current role uh, and how he's, he's finding it. Sí, es una posición eh, que jugué mucho tiempo en Lanús. Eh, más eh, mediocampista tirado por, por el lado izquierdo que, que de enganche. Y sí, me siento como te dije, teniendo jugadores como Tiago y como Luis, sé que alguna ocasión de gol voy a tener. Yeah, it's, it's a role that I've played um, in the past, uh, especially when I was at Lanús. It's a position that I can play, uh, playing more outside on the left as opposed to as a number 10. Uh, but it's it helps having players like Thiago um, and, and just being able to work with them. You unfortunately, back at the preseason, were one of the first players injured in camp. Would you ever imagine the number of injuries y'all had since then? Dice que tú eh, tuviste una de las primeras eh, lesiones este año del equipo. Si, si en algún momento pensaste que, que podría haber eh, tantas lesiones. No, bueno, la verdad no me perdí ni un partido. Perdón, no me he perdido ni un partido igual. Yeah, but I, I didn't even miss a game. Right, right, no, no. It was just, just the, the bad luck that y'all were experiencing more than anything. Sí, dice que, que es mala suerte. Eh, nada más. Sí, fue en la pretemporada una lesión que traía el año anterior, pero eh, como te dije, no me perdí ni un partido y eso es lo bueno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was during preseason, just uh, an injury that I had had at, at the end of last season, but um, as I said, I, I didn't even miss a game. Right. Marcelino, el sin, sin, sin Brad, sin, sin Miles, también ha sido fuerte en la parte de atrás. ¿Ustedes se sienten cómodos, vos, eh, Tiago, Luis, cuando regrese Joseph, que pueden anotar suficientes goles en los partidos como para mantenerse arriba, ganar partidos? Porque se nota que va a ser, para ese partido muy cerrados, van a, le van a anotar cat tal vez, pero se sienten cómodos que pueden anotar suficiente goles hay presión de tener que anotar dos tres goles por partido. If he thinks the team has the potential in the attack to, to score a lot of goals and to score the amount of goals that are going to be needed to win games. Eh, sabemos que podemos convertir cualquiera eh, ya sea individualmente o colectivamente tenemos las herramientas como para convertir y defendemos todo y atacamos todo ese es el lema que tiene el equipo. We we know that we have the individual and, and collective quality to, to always be able to convert. Um, I, you know, we just have to do it, but I think that's the strength of this team. Y Marcelino, ¿vos crees que cuál ha sido el, la ventaja de jugar con un jugador como Tiago? ¿Vos sentís personalmente que quizás te hacía falta un jugador que entendiera tu forma de jugar, tu cultura, 
el fútbol que venía jugando. What's the benefit of playing with Thiago and, and a player that um, you know understands his his game and um, you know his, his background? Y mucho yo lo conocía Thiago allá en Argentina, habíamos entrenado un par de veces juntos y sabía la, la cualidad y las calidades que tiene. Eh, la verdad que te da mucha ventaja tener un jugador con sus condiciones ya que te puede asistir eh, en pelota parada o ya sea en, en el mismo juego. ¿Dónde entrenaste con él? En la pandemia teníamos ah, el mismo okay. agente y entrenábamos juntos. I I've known about Thiago since we were in Argentina together. Um, I knew him and we trained together a couple times. Um, we had the uh, same agent and, and we just trained together during the pandemic. Um, so I knew him before he got here, but he's a player who's uh, very talented and always capable of um, you know, playing that pass, whether it's in uh, the run of play or, or on a set piece. Is he the teammate with whom you have the strongest connection on and off the field, do you think? ¿Crees que es el compañero con quien tienes más eh, relación dentro y fuera de la cancha, Thiago? Sí, se podría decir que sí. A fuera de la cancha tengo otros amigos, Ronald, Chol, que son con los que vamos juntos, pero con él me llevo muy bien también. It could be. Uh, off the field I have, you know, a group of friends, um, Chol, Ronald, and, and other guys. Y no, por último, ¿cómo ya no es que se ha acabado la pandemia, pero hemos progresado, ¿no? Como sociedad. Vos estás más cómodo acá, me, me, te pregunto con tu hijo, tu esposa, ¿cómo ha sido ese cambio quizás acostumbrándote a la vida de acá? Off the field, how it's been adjusting to Atlanta, you know, the pandemic's not over, but just his, um, you know, adaptation to the city with his family. Amo Atlanta. <laughs> Vamos a Atlanta. Amo Atlanta. Oh, I love Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, me alegro mucho. Me alegro mucho. <laughs> any, any other questions, you guys? Um, I, you know, there were times at this season where you struggled with finishing. You guys have scored 10 goals in the past four games. Are you guys more confident finishing? Sí, sí. En, en algunos partidos el equipo no no pudo convertir, pero ahora sí, sí crees que el grupo tiene más confianza. Convirtiendo. Sí, como te dije recién que al jugar juntos tenemos mayor química y podemos obtener más ocasiones de gol. Creo que a ese es el 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 resultado de jugar mucho tiempo juntos. Yeah, I think now that we're playing more together, the the group has a better chemistry, um, so that can lead to more uh, chances for us. Um, and I think that's the main difference that we're seeing. All right, thanks everyone. Okay. Thanks, Marcia. Muy bien, muy bien. Cuídate. Can you describe the last? perhaps five, seven minutes of that last game. What was the, what was the mentality of the team? What were you guys thinking? What, what sort of spaces were you seeing as well? Um, you know, we, we were starting to open them up a little bit. Um, you know, we moved with two up top, and I, I think we had a difficult job breaking them down. Um, and then, you know, towards the end, gaps were opening up, and um, we were under a little bit of pressure, actually. So um, I think when we scored, you know, we, we went to the corner and, and relaxed for a little bit, kind of got our breath, composed ourselves, and. Um, you know, we, we had another chance at the end there. I think the ref called the whistle um, a little bit too early. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll take a point and we'll move on to this weekend. Pineda said last week that uh, he would consider using two strikers, not just at the end of the games, but maybe at the beginning of the games. How does that fit with what you do well, do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, that's exciting for me. Um, you know, I've wanted to play like that for, for a long time in my career. So, um, you know, it's exciting. And obviously, um, we have Joseph coming back. Um, so, you know, we've got lots of attacking threats and it should be pretty exciting to watch us. How would you describe your chemistry with, because you haven't got to play a lot with Joseph because he's been in and out, and, and Ronaldo and even Jackson um, if he's yeah. part of that rotation? Yeah, I mean, they're all, all fantastic players. I think everyone can play a role, um, whether it's, you know, up top by themselves or with the two. Um, so I think we've got a lot of options and, you know, a lot of young, exciting players and obviously, um, you know, the, the MVP. So um, we'll be happy to have him back and then uh, we'll see what we can do with this group. And playing at home Saturday, three points before you go into the break, how important is that to, to get a W? Because there is a little bit of separation starting to happen between the top and the bottom of the table now. Yeah, I think it's just to put ourselves in a good position. Um, you know, obviously three points is, is very important for us and, and we'll focus um, before going into the break. Down, we saw a bit of your personality out here during your fight. Is that what you bring every day? Um, I try my best to. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes it gets intense, it never gets out of hand, but, um, you know, we're, we're fighting to play. Um, you know, we all want to be on the field. Um, you know, so we'll fight smart with each other, um, but, you know, we work hard and then we leave it all on the field. So when we go inside, we're a family, we work hard, um, and then we, we go on to the next practice, yeah. Uh, just, just scoring. I mean, for a goal scorer, it's big. You know, 
know, I, I, I mentioned that if you can get in a groove, you're going to be a huge signing in, in hindsight. I know you're just trying to get on the field, but how important is it to score? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what I'm here for. Um, you know, I'm here to score goals and, and help this group, and that's what I've, you know, had success throughout my career doing that. And, um, and I'm in a very, very talented group. Um, do you want to wait for that to go by? <laughs> yeah, we're in a talented group. Um, it's a talented team, so you know, anyone who plays up top here is going to get goals. The, the, uh, we've asked this a lot because it keeps happening. Injuries, how it affects the group. How does it affect football? I mean, not just to see a teammate go down, but sort of the incessant injury week after week. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you know, I think it shows the importance of having, you know, 28, 30 um, strong players in a strong academy because you never know. Um, you know, Gonzo said to us at the start of the year that everyone would be needed um, and it's never been more true. And obviously right now, um, no one expects the guys to be dropping out like we have been. Um, but, you know, this it's next man up mentality. So, um, you know, we we care and we're upset that we lost a couple of players and, you know, we'll have them back hopefully right in time for, for playoffs. Um, you know, we just got to get ourselves now there now and you know have a good run is that the objective i mean it's it's i ask because this over the years the objective of this club has been to win a most cup yeah win a win a continental tournament what is the objective now is it i think safe the, to say it's the playoffs i think the expectation is the playoffs and then you know mls cup is always the goal once you're in there right so we have a strong group yeah we have injuries yeah we have certain losses right now but you just have to mesh at the right time thank you anything else or real madrid Liverpool, come on. Yeah. I'm a big Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you Thanks very much.